China provides Russia only with economic aid and does not directly help in the war against Ukraine. And it is unlikely that this approach will change in the near future, even after North Korea sent troops to Russia. This opinion was expressed to 24 Canal by military expert founder of the Reactive Mail charity organization Pavel Narozny. He noted that China would most likely not send its troops to war in Ukraine, as there are a number of factors that make this unlikely. First of all, this is due to the lack of economic motivation in China. China is one of the driving forces of the world economy, and the DPRK famine is a standard situation. Perhaps the greatest motivation for North Koreans to go to war is the idea that Putin will pay for it somehow, either with money or goods. China is not interested in financial motivation, he explained. According to him, such a move would be quite risky for China, which is still trying to maintain a neutral position and geopolitical influence. He also explained that if Chinese troops were sent to fight in Ukraine, China would be subject to sanctions from Europe and the United States, which are its largest trading partners. I don't see any drivers for China to send its regular army to help Russia. Some mercenaries from China in Russia, that's unlikely, Narozny added. He also noted that North Korea is interested not only in financial gain, but also in combat experience. For China, this is not so important. The Chinese do not fight with troops. Their expansion occurs through loans. For example, they received a strategic port in Venezuela thanks to loans. War is too expensive for China, he explained. Recall recently Ukrainian intelligence reported the appearance of the first North Korean servicemen in the Kursk region where battles with Russian troops are underway. At the same time as foreign policy wrote, the deployment of North Korean army troops to Russia's war against Ukraine worries China. China has tried to offer rhetorical and to some extent material support to Russia without damaging its ties to the West. North Korea's actions certainly cross that line. The article says, North Korean army units that are currently in Russia and preparing for combat operations are undergoing additional training. Defense Express was informed about its content by its own sources in the defense intelligence of Ukraine. We are talking about general military training. The North Korean soldiers are also taught Russian commands, conducts coordination, and familiarizes with Russian weapons and military equipment. Several conclusions can be drawn from this. First. The level of actual training of the North Korean military was recognized by Russian commanders as requiring basic training. Even though the North Korea has sent special forces troops, as reported by South Korean intelligence. Secondly, learning Russian commands and executing them according to Russian guidelines may mean plans to use these units together with Russian units and under Russian command. This represents an alternative to a scenario where DPRK troops would be organized into a conditional, expeditionary corps, allocated to a specific section of the front line, preserving their internal hierarchy and without resubordination. It should be added that South Korean intelligence has found that the first military personnel from the DPRK were transported to Russia on October 8. At the same time, they are expected to be at the front line by November 1. According to the Defense Intelligence of Ukraine, the first area of their deployment is the Kursk region. That is, the entire course of additional training for the North Korean military in Russia can take up to three weeks. Sources in the Defense Intelligence of Ukraine also noted that it is only a transfer of manpower from the DPRK, without equipment and weapons. Thus, we are talking about a real trade in cannon fodder that risks becoming systematic and solving one of Russia's problems, the lack of manpower. Russia and North Korea had a secret clause in their joint agreement, which involved North Korea sending a thousand soldiers to Ukraine. The Wall Street Journal informs. As reported by the media outlet, Russian President Vladimir Putin traveled to North Korea in June this year to work out the details of a military cooperation agreement. At that time, 
Pyongyang was allegedly ready to offer artillery shells in exchange for food and fuel. However, the agreement also included a secret clause allowing North Korea to send an initial wave of approximately 1,000 North Korean soldiers to Ukraine to learn firsthand how to conduct warfare from Russia's experience. According to the Wall Street Journal, most of these North Korean soldiers are currently stationed at a safe distance from the front lines. They are being shown how Russian forces handle logistics on the front and are being trained in warfare tactics, including the use of drones. More North Korean soldiers are expected to be sent to Ukraine later. Another source told the Wall Street Journal that Putin is interested in escalating the conflict on the Korean peninsula to divert Western attention. Specifically, North Korean troops could take on various roles, such as missile specialists, frontline soldiers, or even workers supporting logistics. In addition to promises of support and the transfer of military technology from Russia, Kim Jong-un's regime is expected to gain insights from direct observation of modern military tactics and the use of North Korean weapons in combat.